I'm wearing a colorful shirt, so let's check out a colorful bin. I mean, why not? <laughs> I already see something that I'm obsessed with. Oh my gosh, the colors are gonna clash so badly, but I don't even care. Uh, I could see from the outside that there were some paper pads in here, and we need some paper pads. We actually need big paper pads, but let's take a look at these little ones. Oh, hold on, that one's got some cute little rainbow hearts on it. That is so pretty. I'm not gonna go through every sheet because I would probably bore all the non-paper crafters, but I am definitely going to spot check a few of these because I love making greeting cards and paper makes me happy. Trust me, I have a lot. I definitely don't need more, but it is so hard to resist, you know, just adding some cute ones here and there, which is kind of how we all ended up in this situation. Um, <laughs> we hoard craft supplies. I shouldn't say we all in case you're new here, but if you're a fan of my store, um, I own a secondhand art and craft supply shop called Bottom of the Bin located in Tampa Bay, Florida. And you can trade in leftover art and craft supplies. So if you're a paper hoarder like me or any other craft, oh my gosh, that one's so shiny and shimmery, and you end up with a ton of extra supplies or you just switch out of your hobby and wanna try something else, you can bring us your leftovers and we will give you store credit that you can use to shop in our store. Now these bins that I've been unbinning are actually really special because I met an 80 year old lady who absolutely captivated me with her massive collection of craft supplies. She is moving and just couldn't take it all with her. Her house had five rooms full to the brim of supplies that she couldn't take. And so she reached out to me to come get them so that I could purchase them and resell them in my shop. So normally, like I said, we take trades. This was a one-time exception and there's over 50 of these bins. So it has been a massive treasure hunt and every day feels like Christmas to me. <laughs> Ooh, some crafter square paper here, some 12 by 12 decorative card stuff. Dollar Tree's been stepping up their crafting game. They really, really have. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a wallpaper. Ooh, ooh, I wish there was more of these. Some poster board. Oh, this one's really glittery and pretty and shiny. <laughs> It looks like there's actually a ton of gift bags. Oops, <laughs> in here as well. These are so pretty. Like, look, that has glitter and shiny metallic. And oh my gosh, the prettiest, <gasps> the prettiest butterflies. This pastel, oh my gosh. If somebody gave this to me with a gift in it, I would just like be excited for the bag. <laughs> I've actually cut up gift bags before and reused them in my art journaling. So I'll do a video on that if you want to see some time. Oh, you know what? We found a bunch of these in another bin. I didn't realize they were like cutouts from a calendar. This is Mary Engelbright. I know a lot of you were commenting about her on one of the previous bins. I'm not familiar with them, but that's really cool. Let's do a quick little, a quick little flip through here. Oh gosh, was that a clown? I'm literally terrified of clowns. <laughs> Very cute. Her pretty butterflies. Oh, these are cute. I wonder, were these stamped down here? Oh my gosh, they were. I think she stamped these herself. And some more embossing folders. Oh my gosh, we just cannot get enough of these, can we? That one's empty. That one's got some beautiful flowers and more beautiful flowers. I hope you can see those. Uh, there is more cardstock. And yeah, this looks like she embossed it as well. And this is just blank, but hopefully the rest of it is somewhere empty as well um there is a 3d and oh these a lot of these are empty i wonder if they're just in other other containers like already sorted away Ooh, okay so here's one of the little paper pads i was excited for uh this one is all purples very pretty pastels i don't know what these are just little decals more pretty paper. This one says assorted paper elements, but it looks like it's just a bunch of blank, blank white pieces of paper. Some, okay, so you can, you can see she was using a lot of this because a lot of these are just little pieces of trim, trim that is left over. And we do sell those in scrap packs, by the way. Oh my gosh, flamingos. <laughs> I've got two friends obsessed with flamingos, so I might need to stash that away to make them. Oh, there's a bunch to make them some cards. And then we'll just do a little flip through of another pile here. Oh, I don't think any of these are actually books. No, okay. I thought maybe I felt a book in there. More scraps, more embossed paper. Oh, I'm dropping things everywhere. Uh, and a bob. <laughs> of course, Bob's got to be in every bin now, doesn't he? He just doesn't take a break. <gasps> Oh, this one's super cute. Winter dream. I see like little penguins and 
polar bears. Let me do a flip through of this one for you all. Oh, it's 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 brand new. It's sealed. Let me see if I can still show a couple sheets here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's like narwhals and other sea creatures in there. That's super cute. I love it. Oh, and a little winter scene. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun little paper pad. They're a little smaller than what I usually use, but still really cool to see. This one looks like it's all Christmas patterns. These ones are just kind of loose. Jesus is the reason for the season. Ooh, that one's pretty. There's some vintage ones in there. I might have to take a look at those. <gasps> wow, that's really pretty. I do a lot of vintage journaling and card making. There's another holiday cheers. Ooh, that one's double-sided. That's always fun. Oh, and some pretty flowers. You can kind of see behind me, I do have a little collection of uh, the smaller paper pads right there. And then this one is like all where, where my larger 12 by 12s are, but definitely love those florals. Might need to hang on to that um, just in case, just in case some of the bigger backgrounds I can use, even though the paper is smaller than I'd use. Wow, a lot of holiday ones. You guys can start doing your Christmas shopping early. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you're new here, I own a secondhand art and craft supply shop. You could trade in your leftover supplies for store credit. We have a location in Tampa Bay, Florida. And if you're not local, you can still shop our eBay. So visit bottomofthebin.com for links to everything. Uh oh, this is another really pretty one. Oh my gosh, look at all those beautiful spring colors and pastels and rainbows. <gasps> See, I told you I was in a colorful mood. I'm so excited to find these. <laughs> Uh, the buttons on my shirt literally keep getting stuck on the bin. Um, another Christmas one. Another Christmas one. <laughs> I'm really not even surprised at this point. Oh, glitter. Oh my gosh. Such pretty glitter. I actually have a really nice collection of glitter cardstock myself. Ooh, holographic. Hold on. This one's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, the shiny, the shiny. I love the shiny. Ooh, this one has some fun colors as well. This one's from Penny Black. We found some Penny Black stamps in some of the other bins. This one looks like it's been gone through already, but there's some florals and more Christmas. Got a couple embossing folders here. This must be from some of those empty packages that we found earlier. There is a bag of bags. <laughs> looks like she definitely kept everything. Oh my gosh, I wonder if this is a card she made. Oh my gosh, we've been wanting to see some of her handmade items. It's blank inside, but I think she made this. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, how pretty. I hope we find more. Uh, again, as a card maker myself, I'm super excited to get these supplies. I'll be making her a card as well every month, so stay tuned for another video for that. If you're watching the shorter version of these videos, you can see the longer ones on YouTube and TikTok, so make sure to go follow or subscribe over there. Again, links can be found at bottomofthebin.com. This bin just goes on and on and on all of these embossed pieces of paper. Again, perfect for our scrap packs. That's going to be a really great find for a ton of people. Um, we've got a ruler, <laughs> some more embossed ones, some more blank CD sleeves that she was using to store a lot of her stamps and stuff. Uh, some bells. <laughs> All of the bells and whistles. Photo paper, photo paper, photo paper. <gasps> these are envelopes. Hold on, these are super cute. Look, oh my gosh, I said I wasn't keeping any envelopes, but <laughs> I might need to make an exception because like this is my aesthetic. Like this is literally my aesthetic. Oh my gosh, some more handmade cards. Look, there's Tigger holding some presents, some pretty little gnomes. <gasps> some mittens, some little winter gloves. Okay, so some of these actually have a stamp that looks like her initials. I'm not sharing her name for privacy reasons, but um, I can confidently say, I think she made most of these. <laughs> um, a bunch of labels, this must be for her stamps. Kids, Geometric, Blossom. Oh, really pretty embossing folder. That one's gorgeous. We've got some Christmas foam stickers. Some really pretty rainbow foam balls. Glitter vase filler. That's really pretty. Um, what's all this? Oh, Dremel. I've never used a Dremel, but I know that you can use them to, I don't know, do something with jewelry, <laughs> some sort of tool. Um, that whole bag is full of those bits, I guess. Oh, what's this? Some sort of kit? I don't know, but it's got some 
pipe cleaners, foam balls, and rhinestones. Another bag of bags. My table's getting full over here. <laughs> uh, more little, I don't know, bags, random thingies, stamps. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Mottos to live by. Uh, these just look like scrap, fabric scraps. I can't quite tell what's going on here. Maybe it was like a pencil holder or a case of some sort. And these are just like random fabric scraps. There's a little Santa ornament. <laughs> Ooh, wait, I see a fun container. Oh, wait, hold on. Some red cardstock. A cute little bag with red hearts on it. And then this. This, this looks exciting. This looks like some fun little tidbits that I am already obsessing over. See if we can get a little better look here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't guarantee I'm not gonna use some of these for my cards because I love rhinestones. I love rainbow colors. Look at these gem butterflies. Oh my gosh. Uh, I literally have a collection right here. Oh, I can't really pull it out, but this, this is a collection of rhinestones and butterfly decals because that's like a lot of what I use when I'm crafting. So I will definitely have to keep some of these, but I will pick some and put them in the unbinning in the shop so that you guys can get a few things as well. Oh, look, look at the little cactus. That one has a kitty coming out of it, a bunch of little kitties and some animals, <laughs> little dogs and cats. And I don't know, I guess they're all dogs and cats. Ooh, some really pretty paper flower elements. This little bin is just happiness. It's just a little tiny bin of happiness. Oops, and I'm dropping it. Some more little ephemera and focal points. Ooh, look at those really beautiful embossed flowers. Some gold butterflies. I think we found these ones in another bin. Looks like some Christmas ones, Christmas trees. Oh, <laughs> our rhinestone kitty. These are Dollar Tree butterflies. I know because I have them in like every color. Some little golden shapes. Maybe for shaker cards, orange as well. Hey, that matches my shirt. <laughs> and some more stickers and butterflies. That'll do it for bin number 23. Make sure to follow or subscribe so you don't miss the next unbidding. There's 50 total, so there's a lot more to go.